We're gonna go to Disney. This morning, we're officially getting our Disney tickets on base with dad. Dad is retired US Navy. One of the benefits are discounted military tickets. I'm trying to remember the last time I went to Disney with dad. You know, it was during our big family vacation that was with everybody um, when Benji surprised me in Walt Disney World. So right now, Judy is getting mic'd up and she thinks we're here for a couple's retreat. Little does she know, we're actually here for her. We're surprising her. And about a year ago, I wanted to do something really nice for her and her family and friends have been helping me plan this. And most recently, that's right, Walt Disney World. We're here in Walt Disney World. Check this out. Oh my gosh, it says Judy. Can I open that? You know, I've been really good on time, especially when I schedule with my dad. You know, it's military time, not Filipino time. If you're late in the military, that's just a huge no-no. Dad was always the one nagging my sister and I if ever we were late. Oh, he says he's here. Hi, Dad. Yeah, I'm with you in the parking. I'm here too. I have to ride in his car because to get in the base, you need a military ID and I lost that privilege. You can leech onto your parents' military ID up until a certain age. As long as you're going to college, you get all the benefits. <laughs> Were you waiting long? No, uh, make sure you have your ID. Hi, Dad. I'm vlogging. Hi. We're gonna go to Disney. Do you remember the last time you went to Disney? Mm, I don't know, maybe. I don't know, long time. But remember, uh, who was that? When you have a uh, surprise? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I pretty much grew up coming here. I would go to the gym over here because they have a pretty cool gym. Benji and I would go swimming. Their pool is huge too, it's super deep. Surprise, surprise, I am at the mall by myself. I feel like teenage Judy or even early 20s Judy. My dress strap keeps falling down. I got this dress at Zara. I already got so many compliments on it. I'm inside of the Macy's. I haven't been in one in years, but they have a lot of cute clothes. I kind of feel sorry for department stores. They're just not as popping as they used to be. So I figured out what color I was in the concealer, the hourglass concealer. I'm in Sienna. And of course it was the only color that was sold out. Where did I park? Oh, that was nice. That was a great me time moment. Really came here just to return some clothes I ordered online at Zara. Ended up spending an hour and a half Got some new bras that were much needed. I think the last time I got a new bra was at Target. That must have been a year ago. I got like two colors, but of course it just didn't hold up as well. And especially going through the pregnancy and nursing, it's not as comfortable anymore. And plus like my boobs are different now. So I went in and I need a professional, somebody that knows what they're doing. And I love that over there, the lady that worked there that was helping me out. She's been there for six years and they were so helpful. Every single question I had, they had the answer. They knew it was comfy. So she showed me her recommendations and oh my gosh, the most comfortable bra. Let me just show you. I just have to share this for my big busted ladies. The most comfortable bra ever is this. I don't know what it's called. Uh, maybe it says here. Embraceable signature. PC lace racer back. The way they lifted the girlies. Oh, hallelujah. No traffic. Ready for a vacay with my new bras. This is probably the worst dress. <laughs> my, now that I'm sitting down, the straps aren't even trying to stay up. And they don't have the adjustment. Go past this light. By the way, there is this young girl that worked at Sephora. She looks like she could be in her early 20s. She was helping me check out and she's like, this might be a weird question, but are you on Instagram? Or did you used to have an Instagram? And I was like, yeah, I did. And she's like, I used to watch your videos all the time. This is when I knew she was subscribed to It's Judy Time because that was purely makeup, all beauty. And I haven't posted on that channel in like, 
four years. So she's like, yeah, I thought you looked familiar. That just made my day because it's so awesome to see and hear that from people, especially in person. And I was asking her, what other YouTubers did you watch back in the day? And she said, Tati Westbrook, of course, Glam Life Guru. She was one of the OGs as well. Um, who else did she say? Oh, she said like Bethany Moda. So that's when I knew she was like young because Bethany Moda, she was the teenager back when I was doing YouTube. And I started YouTube in my early 20s. We're gonna be doing some yakitori. Yeah, basically it's like a teriyaki chicken. I have this. This is, I guess they call it the mother sauce or the tare. I always use the same sauce. I just refill it. I do cook it off once in a while. It's a mixture for me of some dashi stock, mirin and sake, which has been going for a while. Grilled these chicken bones in the pizza oven, which I just love to be able to do that and it doesn't smell up the kitchen, along with sugar, soy sauce, then I'll put some green onions. A lot of flavor in these guys that uh, usually just gets lost into the trash. I'm telling you, trust me. Try this, tada. I have a video on my channel, but just look up any, any recipe. Dashi right in there, and then you're gonna cook this for another 20 minutes. Green onions. Adds some more flavor. There's already sugar in this mixture. I was gonna use this for gyudon, but I never got to it. So I will just add that in there. There we go. This is the real deal teriyaki. You don't even need to buy teriyaki. Just do this and it's gonna be a whole different level of flavor. I'll probably add a little extra soy sauce here. Oh yeah, baby. Cook this off for about another 20 minutes. This is just pure flavor right here. You can use this for your stir fries. Judy has already made two stir fries with this. Uh, you want to make sure to keep your spoon clean. So don't put a dirty spoon or anything in this because you're going to use this over and over and over. You don't need anything else, not even salt. Chicken's been baking for a good 20 minutes. I'll do this probably one or two more times with each piece. Throw it in the oven and it'll be good to go. <laughs> Two thumbs up. It's your daddy. Two thumbs up. Two. Is it good? Bella. You gotta eat all the broccoli before you have Uncle Guy's cookies, okay? I just feel so productive. I must say, it is really because I'm staying more organized. I have my to-dos in here and I've been crossing it off. Even if I'm not getting to every single thing, it still keeps my mind focused. I'm torn on what to make. I have stuff for tacos because we have some leftover taco sauce from when we did nachos, but I don't have any lettuce. Let's see, I have tofu. No rice. You know what, I have kale. Cook it a little bit. I don't know, I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of raw kale, but we're gonna use it because it's what we got. Okay, we'll do tacos. Got sour cream, some leftover sour cream. Oh, it's okay. Baby, just leave the tacos in there, it's fine. So I'm using the Wagyu beef, and I like it because it's extra fatty. It really is gonna soak in the flavor. Pretty simple tomatoes, cheese, the meat, and some onion and kale. I didn't realize you're supposed to heat it up, so I just put the tacos on here. And Mia goes, it tastes a bit off. So you're supposed to heat up the shells? for five minutes. I guess that makes sense. Do they do this at Taco Bell too? Mm -hmm. Are they warm? Uh, at Taco Bell? I never tried your taco. I know, I don't think I have really tried your taco. Toasted tacos. Tacos, toasted tacos. I'm making it and I want to. Oh shoot, I think the taco kind of 
closed up a little bit. What, what kind of cheese? Can you help me open it? Yes. Thank you, mommy. I mixed them two Here. together, and I added a water. Okay. And mango. You know, that's just mango. Um, I want mango. Get over the plate, baby. Mommy, I want you to make me mango. Um, the, um, mm. club soda. Bella's too little to eat taco, so she has a croissant <laughs> with all the taco fixins. Cutie boo. Um, I can't stand it. It's like so. Mm. They all fell hard. Yeah, it's a hard taco, isn't it? Is it meant to be like that? I don't think we'll do tacos again next time. Next time we'll do like at least tostadas. Yeah. Like the flat. Oh no. Okay, new jeans. I see you. I could listen to this stuff all day. It's so cute. It like makes you feel a certain way, you know? The thing with K-pop, each group has like three songs. Oh, you know, it's probably because they have to perfect the dances. Mommy, look at the outfits you have. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, sorry, baby. It's really Bella and I that are the fans. how we were kind of worried if Leah would even accept Bella in her room yeah, and yeah. like how difficult that transition yeah. would be. Now they sleep together, it's solid, it's totally fine. When I've been reading to Leah, Juliana would help out with Bella and she'll mm -hmm. like just play oh, yeah. with Bella and keep her occupied. But Juliana, she likes having Bella in her room so that she could sleep with her. So she'll literally put Bella to sleep on her chest. The first time, I was like, oh, that's cute. And then I brought Bella back in her crib. <laughs> this time, I was like, JB, please put her down on the crib. Did she do it or did you? No, I did it. Well, when I went in there, Juliana was sleeping on one side of the bed and Bella on the other side. Oh my gosh. And I know she wanted to roll with it because she just wanted Bella there. So when Leah found out that Bella wasn't in her room, she was like, no, my room. Bella uh, sleep in my room uh, and I'm all, oh, it's cute because like, She used to complain now, about Bella crying in her room. No lie. Oh, honey, did you want to share the garage real quick? I'll put your car in so you can't see Aw, man. Well, I guess you can see the machine. <laughs> so, Benji got him. Did you vlog about the machine? No, I didn't. Oh, you were so busy. Benji had back-to-back -back meetings in downtown. <gasps> Whoa. Anyways, when he got home, he cleared out the garage. Well, Super there's no well, look at before this. photo. No, go this way. There was a whole tape. Oh, whole oh, snap! You got rid of the table. Yeah, and they're the actually. Support. But look, this is my new thing that you can use too, honey. Yeah. It's a sled. It's a sled uh, treadmill. You can literally just do this. Oh, so it's just powered by your own? Yeah. It's, it's like, honey, you can literally just do this, and this is a good workout for you. Half forward and half backwards, like this. Oh. This what does it work out? Well, this, they say this works some other muscle groups that are really important. Why are you feeling right now? <laughs> he cleared out the entire garage to put this in, and now I could park my car, because for a month. I couldn't even park it inside. There was so much stuff. I mean, half the reason why nothing fit in here was because of all the packages I've been getting. All right, y'all, I'm gonna take a nice hot shower and call it a night, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Night, night. Night, honey. Good night.